welcome back guys today i am so excited because we are celebrating a milestone i managed to reach 1000 subscribers in two months this is my third month on youtube and i've been monetized and i've got a new wonderful job guys so thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel everyone who has watched my videos i am really grateful guys and for those who are new welcome to the family i hardly ever introduce myself but since the family has grown i need to introduce myself so that you know a bit about me my name is pauline popo moyo i prefer to be called popo and i'm a uk registered general nurse before i came here i used to work at mpilo school of nursing as a tutor i worked for 10 years at mpilo school of nursing part of which i was a clinical instructor and part of which i was a nurse educator i have majored in various fields in nursing and nursing related issues i have a diploma in counseling and therapy Diploma in HIV and AIDS management, Diploma in management in nursing, and a Diploma in pediatric nursing. Before I left Zimbabwe, I was doing Master of Philosophy in nursing, but I left it halfway when I was coming aside. So, continued professional education is my hobby. I enjoy teaching, that's why I was mentoring uh, nurses who were doing the computer based test and we're moving over here to the UK just to help them. And I was doing that for free, by the way. I've moved that teaching from the WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups and everything to YouTube. So today I'm going to be telling you briefly about my new job and how I can make 4,400 plus pounds per month and i am also going to be sharing with you the rules for the price remember i said that if i get monetized i'm going to give away another 83 pounds to someone i've already given 83 pounds times two to two people so stay tuned till the end of the video and let's get into it all right they're asking for the queen I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, gadget. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Acting stupid. What was happening? Oh, bitch. What was happening? Hey. Bitch. So, guys, I have changed jobs. I am now a peripatetic nurse. A peripatetic nurse is a nurse who goes for example a an organization can have maybe 10k homes for instance and instead of you being based in just one care home you'll be going to different care homes you can be in a care home in Danmari today in a care home in belfast today in a care home in kamlin in a care home so you are basically traveling to different places each day what I love about my new job is that it's challenging. It keeps you jerked up, it keeps you on your toes because you're not only dealing with one type of condition or the same types of patients every day. You can work in one care home today and only be back a month or two later while they are rotating in other care homes. So there are different types of um, care homes. There are different types of care homes. You know, others are elderly care residential care, intermediate care, learning disability, and so forth and so on. So you meet different challenges every day. And what I enjoy the most is now I get to read on new conditions every single day. Because once I go to a new home, the first thing that I do is to look at the conditions that they have there. And if there's anything that uh, I need to refresh my mind on, I just refresh my mind there. So I've been learning a lot. So I have, I have learned a lot in a short space of time. That's why I love my new job. So guys, people leave their jobs for various reasons. If you remember a video that I, I made, about choosing the best uh, job offer and the best payment. I stated this is a reason for people leaving their jobs. 
some certain work environments are really toxic of course there is no one perfect place but you discover that at times at work there are people with a toxic attitude you know some people will be dealing with their own stresses and traumas and they bring that to work to take it out on everybody making the work environment not pleasurable so at times you need that breath of fresh air so some people leave their jobs because they're no longer happy in that environment some people leave their jobs because they see that if they continue working in their jobs it's not good for their mental health i left my job because i trusted my intuition my intuition constantly told me that pauline it's time to leave because in life everything is got its own time there's a time to laugh there's a time to hate there's a time to live so for me it was now time to live when i was complaining to my parents about uh, the trials and tribulations that you go through at work you know my mother said one thing to me my mother said uh, pauline just pray so what happened is you know i could tell that mm, things were not things were not going well it went what is going on here i missed that confusion before things just escalated into something else i prayed and i meditated i i believe in meditation because somehow i feel it draws me closer to god or he actually hears me better if i'm in that meditation state during my meditation day i could strongly hear a voice telling me that it is well so that very night when i slept I woke up around 3 a.m. the middle of the night and I picked my phone. So when I woke up at 3, I was like, let me update my LinkedIn. I have not even touched my LinkedIn in four years plus. So when I got into LinkedIn, the first thing that popped to my face was a job. Peripateticness. It's like, hmm, peripateticness, what's that? So I jumped, quickly jumped into the trees of peripateticness. What, 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 what? And read them through what, 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 what? And wow, this is interesting. So at the end, it's, it was written, apply. And I applied. The same day, because it was already early hours of the morning, the same day I was invited for an interview for the following day. The following day, I did my interview. And a few hours later, I was told, congratulations. Past your interviews. That's how I changed my jobs. I will talk more about the process of changing jobs in my next video. But um, after getting that job, why did I was preparing to leave for the new job? That's when uh, you know things started emerging at work. Trials and tribulations started emerging at work, and I was just standing at a distance and looking there. And watching as things just unfolded and unfolded but I just stood by the verse which says I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you and plans to give you a hope and a future so the God that I serve never fails me he gave me a wonderful job and things seem to be going well for me at the present moment and I'm going to share with you briefly about my job and how I'm saying I can get up to 4,400 plus pounds per month so let's get into it so guys when I applied for the new job my main concern was about uh, the duties that I was going to be doing so I had not paid attention to the fact that I'm supposed to receive a welcome bonus of £2,500. Then uh, two weeks into the job I received an email stating that Hi Pauline, as you applied direct to our sales for the peripatetic allergy and position you are entitled to a £2,500 welcome bonus 
so i filled in the necessary papers and what do you know a week later i was paid the 2500 bonus as you can see there yes the bulk of it was eaten by tax because the tax chops your money but for that week at least i managed to take home 2285 pounds this is the amount of money that i made in just one week because remember when it comes to the welcome bonus it's just money which they give you to say thank you for joining our organizations but there are terms and conditions so guys my advice to you is that should you wish to change jobs in the uk do not use an agent because if you use an agent that money which is welcome bonus instead of it being given to you is going to be given to the agent who recruited you for the organization so that is one secret that i'm going to share with you today my lips are closed Whoa! so guys let's talk about how and why i say i can take more than 4,400 pounds home per month. You see, in this new job, I'm actually contracted 36 hours per week and my breaks are paid and my pay is on a weekly basis. So I'm no longer broke. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you one weekly pay slip for this week, uh, the 23rd of uh, August, 2021, I'll show you how I worked, how much I got for one week. Then I'll calculate that over four weeks. And remember, four weeks is only 28 days, which means I am left with an additional three days for the month if it's a 31 day month or two days for the month so if i work those three days for the month like in august if i work those three days for the month i have to be paid for those three days so i will add the amount of money for the three days and the amount of money for the 28 days and then you'll see how much i can make at the end of the day so let's get into it so this is my payslip as you can see my name at the top there miss pauline moyo and it is for the 23rd of august 2021 i worked like a mad woman and i managed to work 72 hours for that week as you can see at the top there and um for those uh, hours that i work for one week my take home at the end of the week was 972 pounds 76 as you can see at the bottom there so i'm going to calculate this money by four weeks and see how much i can make in four weeks so if you calculate 972.76 by 4 you get 3891.04 so this is my pay slip where i worked just three days and i got 505.51 however there is that 33 pounds which was subtracted for ni as a deduction so adding that deduction to 505 will give me 538 for just three days and i'm going to add that 538 to that other amount which i got in the first calculation so it's um 3891 plus 538 it gives you 4421 pounds however i cannot uh, work six days every week it's something that you can do once in a while i normally prefer working just five days a week and if i work just five days a week i take home roughly around 3700 pounds at the end of 30 days or 31 days or at the end of each month what i love about my new job is that i never 
or I hardly ever get stuck in traffic. I basically have the road to myself most of the time. Uh, unlike my old job where I would normally get stuck in traffic, especially when I am on my way home in the morning. And I choose to be so frustrating because the journey was only 15 minutes if there's no traffic but because of traffic you take 45 minutes to an hour and you end up uh, becoming late or getting late for school runs because uh, I will have to go and pick up my kids where I leave them overnight I have to prepare them for school and take them to school as well so because of uh, traffic I would get delayed whereas where I'm working now you just be cruising through and through and what I enjoy the most is that I get to see livestock. I don't know why I get excited about seeing cows and and goats and stuff like that. Maybe it's because it reminds me of home. And I also really love uh, the scenery in all the areas because Northern Ireland is so beautiful. So sometimes I just have to park aside and get a breath of fresh air, enjoy seeing the animals, the livestock, and that fresh air you know that fresh smell that you normally smell in the rural areas i really love it so much absolutely refreshing there's nothing as beautiful as seeing livestock just like this and the scenery is just on another level and guys the stuff is just so wonderful you know i've never felt more welcomed in a place you know, they are so welcoming you know i've worked in places whereby you go to work you want to give medication sometimes you can't tell like tell the faces apart you try and ask for help and they tell you that check the cardex there are pictures there no one is willing to help you no one wants to show you the residents and stuff like that but where i am I don't even have to go to ask to say help me with this help me they actually come to say do you need any help do you want us to help you with this do you want us to help you with that okay do you want us to show you where this person is do you want us to show you you know i enjoyed i enjoyed i enjoyed and i am loving every minute of it thank you lot for the rules for the giveaway prize i want you to tell me three things one if you look at my videos what is the color that i like wearing the most just look at my videos look at the thumbnails which color do i prefer wearing the most two what statement do i use in all my videos i think in this video i used it twice if not three times and three you just let me know what your favorite video is you can either Tell me that on Instagram or on Facebook. Those are the simple rules for the AV3 pound giveaway. So for now, guys, may you kindly like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when I upload my next video. And last but not least, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've shown me this far.